Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, upper left hand corner. We have Tim starting as the red Protoss, bottom left hand corner. We have Zen starting as the pink Protoss. This is again part of the Vermeer round. This is going to be an... This could be an interesting matchup actually. Tim is very much a by the book, strong macro Protoss player. Zen, I think his strongest matchup might be PvP. Under the tutelage of Jayun, he actually in the initial rounds gave Jayun quite a scare. He ended up taking a game from him and was in a strong position in another match and just kind of fumbled it a little bit. That being said, he's going to have his work cut out for him against Tim. I think Jayun's a stronger opponent than Tim, but Tim will, he just does not miss macro cycles. He just doesn't in the midst of a lot of chaos. That's one of his extreme strong suits and why he is such a, a quality player is that his macro is just on, whenever there's chaos, you can just watch the probes in construction and they just continue. He never misses probe creation along his standard builds. And so ends up in really strong economic positions in mid games. In the meantime, but we'll see how it works out. We do have a gateway first upper left hand corner Interesting. Was that from what was happening with the mineral differential there? I'm wondering if it just happens to be with uh, or Zen going for a 14 CC here or a 12 Nexus, I should say. So Zen going for oh, this is unfortunate. Going for wanted a fast Nexus, and Tim's gonna scout him right off the bat instantaneously. Probe, see, that was unfortunate. That was a, that was an interesting gamble by Zen. Unfortunately, looks like it's not going to pay out. Looks like Tim's going to let the assimilator finish. Is building initial zealot, but now, all sorts of options open to Tim, as far as follow up aggression. He can go ahead and tack on an Nexus himself if he just wants to play the macro game. He can also tack on another gateway, to get aggressive. He's certainly going to have the Zealot lead. Zen going to go ahead and scout up and see what he's up against. Going to wander into the base. He's going to see Gateway and Assimilator in construction, although there's only a single probe on gas. Second Gateway down for Tim. One thing with the early Nexus build is, and when you have gas out in the field is that does end up delaying follow-up units. So sometimes if you don't follow up with a Forge or something along those lines, you can end up overwhelmed by the next, basically like tier 1.5 units down the line. It looks like Tim might be playing that direction, although it looks like he, I don't think he's got all three probes. It looks like he's just sticking to two probes right this second and gonna go, yeah, it looks like he's just gonna follow it up with a Nexus of his own. So Tim's strategy now, get the earlier cybernetic score, have more gas in the bank, follow it up with a faster Dragoon play to follow uh, as far as a return and maybe get some damage right here. The Zealots forcing some economic scatter. Nice little drone drill. The probe getting wiped out very rapidly. The Zealot having trouble, now surrounded, but did manage to get one kill. That's actually putting Tim ahead in workers right this second. And the constant rescattering of those probes. Providing at least a little bit of downtime. The Zealots also kind of doing a do-si-do -si -do chase right here. Let's see if Zen, upon scouting that, opts to get aggressive himself. He's now in an opportunity to play economic catch-up in a hurry because he can double, but here he needs to keep this Nexus humming, and you can see he's missing a probe right this second. He needed it. That's the advantage is you have double Nexus to produce probes, and right now you can see he's missing a cycle. In the meantime, Tim, second gateway, cybernetic scores up. Pylon right there, Zen still scouting. And so this is what I was talking about. Zen just does not miss probe cycles when he's got the opportunity to do so. And as I say that, he's opting to not build a probe right that second. Go figure. But anyway, Tim producing additional Zealot, now transferring to his natural expansion. He's actually got a three worker lead at the finish of all of that. Two Dragoons just about to come out. Zen looking for a counterattack. It's going to be four Zealots marching in versus Tim here. And now it's decision time. Is he going to be able to get... No, the probe scooting back. Nice defense there from Tim. The four Zealots going to start working on that Nexus in a hurry. It's going to be a minute before additional Dragoons are out. And Tim putting a Dragoon very far down the ramp. And in trying to draw off at least two Zealots, able to do so. Now, 
That's not something... Zen getting a little bit distracted. Now looking to re-engage. It's going to be two Zealots and a Dragoon. And more Zealots marching up for Zen in the counterattack. Probes retransferring for Tim and actually going to try to drone drill across that ramp. Interrupting his own Dragoon, unfortunately, it looks like. So losing a Dragoon on the ramp. And Zen continuing to press... Two Zealots now holding the high ground. The rest of the Zealots doing some additional damage to that Nexus. And this has given him the worker lead now. Three Dragoons now out. Cybernetics course is very delayed though for Zen overall. And still might need to get a Forge down, but is doing great economic damage. In the meantime, he is going to have the problem though, is even if he gets the Dragoons out, the, the Dragoon range is going to be severely delayed. So now finally the Zealots able, able to overwhelm Sorry, the Dragoon's able to overwhelm the Zealots. For Tim, his Nexus has taken quite a beating. We'll be able to recharge. We do have the Photon Cannons down for Zen at a necessity. Zen has managed to open up a five-worker lead and a good amount of economic development time there. From Tim's uh, somewhat passive response, Tim now moving the Dragoons down. But the Photon Cannons are going to be there to greet. And we did have a delay probe from Zen. Very clever to see what the follow-up's gonna be. So cannons on the wall, Zen actually now holding it, dropping four gates. I actually kinda wanna see him go for a little bit of a heavier gateway count to maybe go for a Dragoon Flood to try to catch up as far as raw army supply, marching up to go ahead and see the situation, seize the robotic facility. This was a great delayed scout from Zen, absolutely fantastic. To see the probe saturation, to see that robotics facility Tons of information. Has four gateways, knows what gateway count he's up against. That's actually precipitating a third gateway drop from Tim. Let's see if he opts to go. Usually in this situation, you can afford to go robotics. But you also have to, it's kind of that tentative thing where you got to make that decision. Do you want to go robotics first and get that observer out a little bit late and risk that there is a very fast Dark Templar switch behind this? And we do see the Citadel of a Dune being plopped down. Do you go for a Citadel of a Dune tech swap yourself? And go for a DT drop. It looks like we are going to see the Robotics Observatory play. We've got seven Dragoons hanging out in the front. Zen is going to be able to... Yeah, now going up to six Gateway. He's going to be able to close that gap pretty quickly. The Zealot taking some free damage right there. And again, it's going to be a while before range comes online. So Zen is going to have to be very, very wary of these Dragoons on the front. Because if they try to come down and snipe... The cannon line. He's got one on the high ground, it looks like, to provide some support, but he's going to need to sweep down pretty rapidly. Is it going to be Zealot Leg Speed? As far as a follow up, we have the Citadel of a Dune down, but we don't have the Templar archives as of yet. So I'm looking to see if this is actually going to be Zealot Leg Speed with the six gate follow up. So basically, an overwhelming amount of Dragoons to try to do a quick follow up timing attack. It looks like we do have. The Reaver, I think actually with the robotics facility, that Templar, that uh, Observer would have been out in time should the Templar archives be dropped as a rapid turnaround. Dragoon now has range, able to attack on the high ground. Zen pushing out. I'm not sure this was the timing as Tim still has an overwhelming attack force comparatively, but pushing out towards his front door. Looks like it's going to be eight versus seven right this second. And it looks like maybe superior focus fire from Tim going to draw those units back. But this is, again, six gateways of reinforcements. But this is going to... Ooh, and Zen actually walking into focus fire there. Going to lose some additional Dragoons. What this does do for Zen is this forces a unit reset both directions and closes down Tim's ability to see the unit flood that he's up against. So now it's going to be the six gateways pumping against three plus the reaver but in the meantime i missed this reaver drop in the main it looks like zen missed it i missed it as well in the midst of a lot of that time and that might have been what the distraction was so able not only able to spot potentially that gateway count but really able to hammer that so right there zen might have been in a good situation to follow this up now trying to get some dts out in emergency mode that's unfortunate zen might have had a timing here where he was going to do a turnaround sweep with the overproduction of Dragoons in comparison. Tim actually dropping additional Nexus and dropping additional gateways right here. But you can see it would have been five, uh, five versus six gateways and only the single Reaver to try to make up the difference. But now Zen doesn't have the backup economy of workers to really make that sale. And so in a desperate situation where DTs 
that Dark Templar, wherever it actually was that canceled, that Dark Templar sitting on the front might have been his one out. In the meantime, his army getting pushed down towards that bottom right. Tim taking a fair, like, granted he took out a lot of probes right there, but this is a pretty risky, risky third Nexus take regardless. He does have army control though. And so it is going to work out, maybe just recognizing that he crippled that probe count. And so there's no way that Zen was, especially with that army reset, was going to be able to press into him. So actually probably a pretty good call right there. But it looks like Zen might be able to sweep around. The observer is not in position. Zen going to try to sneak an additional Nexus himself. And so Zen going to actually be able to maybe force a cancellation of this Nexus or maybe rapidly take it out and get right back in this match. He needs to just go, yeah, for an all out sacrificial attack and then utilize that Dark Templar maybe if he can snipe the observers off his front. So Zen, yeah, opening up opportunities and is going to get a good portion of his army out potentially. So sacrificing the four zealots, never mind, it looks like the Reavers going to be able to clean up three Dragoons escaping, but nice pickoff by Zen to take out that third Nexus and doing some good economic damage right there. Now that Dark Templar, as long as it stays near the... Well, never mind, it's going to wander out. It's going to say, as long as it stays near that cannon line and away from any sort of observer on the front, might be able to force a lot of this army back. Zen still might get bonus out of this. Oh, there's the observer potentially finding it, but it looks like Tim on is on a move, so going to be able to wipe that out. That's unfortunate. So might have had an opportunity right there. I don't think Sidestorm's upgraded as of yet. We do have an Archon out in the front. Right now, Tim with the supply lead. Zen waiting to maybe grab a third Nexus. Tim re-grabbing that third Nexus. I don't know that there's going to be another opportunity for another snipe. Plus one weapons not that far off. Plus one weapons already... No. Plus one weapons a ways behind for Tim, but he's just got such a large army right now pushing forward and that High Templar just a liability right this second. So what's left of Zen's army now getting picked off and segregated. Two Reavers in there, I didn't even realize, and the High Templar again not contributing because Sidestorm's not there. And now the Reaver is easily going to be able to take out that cannon. So Zen putting up a pretty good fight here, but it looks like Tim going to be able to close it out in a solid match. This was a good one. A little worried about the lower bracket matches uh, up to this stage. Zelt's trying to push up. They're going to get wiped out. Again, High Templar flooding forward that mostly just sacrificed themselves to try to buy time. But that is going to be GG as Tim able to breach the natural expansion. No third on the way and Tim's got his third warped in. Good fight though from Zen. Honestly, that one Reaver drop was the difference between victory and defeat right there. And picking off that Nexus potentially opened up some additional play. But Tim able to play steady and really close it out. We do have a Dark Templar in the midst here. Do we have the Observer out? Observer's still there. Yeah, so not going to be the emergency mode salvation right there. So GG, really strong match. It's unfortunate to see Zen knocked out of the tournament at this stage, but Tim advances. Good to see him. It's kind of, I have, it's weird. I like rooting for all of these guys. So I'm like, oh man, that guy got eliminated. But I'm like, yeah, that guy advances. Uh, both, <laughs> both directions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate all of the, uh, drop some comments. I just feel like this being like a heavy comment video. Talk about what you liked, what you didn't like. I like sharing things with people and having that excitement. NFL season reminds me of that sort of thing and all of the chatter that builds up. So I like seeing the same sort of chatter around Brute War. So just this video. You guys don't have to comment on the other ones, but just this one. Be like, yeah, that was great. This moment, and I enjoyed that. Do that for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.